A big day for NASA and also scientists at Lockheed Martin. OSIRIS REx touched down on an asteroid. The spacecraft was built in Colorado. And mission control for today's very exciting rendezvous was on the Lockheed campus in Waterton Canyon. Here's CBS 4's Karen Morfitt. One of the most impressive deep space missions to happen in years, an attempt to collect samples from an asteroid and the mission controlled from our own backyard. Inside Lockheed Martin's mission support area, teams of scientists were anxiously watching as their spacecraft, OSIRIS REx, made the first ever attempt at touching down on an asteroid. It's a challenging mission. These are a lot of first ofs for this mission. It's the smallest body we've ever orbited. Lockheed Martin's Deep Space Program's operations manager, Beth Buck, says it's a day their team has been waiting for since the mission launched in 2016. Years of work that all culminated in one historic moment. Tagging a small and boulder filled area of the asteroid Bennu. Touchdown declared. You have a bullseye target, and we were coming in just dead on on that the entire time. Um, every step was just exactly as if you had just, you know, planned it to be perfect. That touchdown was brief, only a matter of seconds, but Lori Glaze, director of NASA's Planetary Science Division, says it's enough time to collect dust from the surface. And give scientists a look back more than four and a half billion years ago. The goal of the mission is to really understand at the asteroid Bennu, which of course is one of the building blocks. You know, the asteroids are building blocks of the solar system, uh, both for planet formation and also for potentially seeding life on Earth and maybe other places. While they wait for confirmation the sample was a success, they are celebrating the day's achievements. The first of their kind. There have been so many nights we've given up to be in here to make this happen, and yeah, it's worth it right now. <laughs> like most space missions, the next step is going to take some time. The samples that are collected will not return to Earth until 2023. From Lockheed Martin, Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First.